Hello good people, it's been a while since we've done a SQL Server video so I figured it was well overdue. Now I'm going to create a demo database with a table called payroll and we're going to insert some records into that table. Next we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a couple of different roles. Now these roles are going to be based on whether or not you can see the whole table. As an example, uh, HR payroll admin will be able to see everything while our HR intern will see only selected columns from the table. Next we're going to go ahead and create a couple of new users and associate them with their various roles. Once that's done we should be able to go ahead and just test that the permissions work as we expect. In this case our HR admin should be able to see everything on the table. Yep, look, looks fine. And our summer intern should not be able to see everything on the table. In fact, you can see here we get some permissions denied on the two columns that they do not have access to. So next we're going to do another select as the summer intern, but with only the selected columns that they should have access. And as you can see, the content is returned. Now before we go too much further, most people will tell you that you can do this with views. And I tend to agree. However, honestly doing it with views is adding an additional complexity to the database and I don't really see a reason for that if your queries are not using select star all the time. So there is some room for debate there. But with that in mind let's move forward and continue to look at how that might look with a view. So now we're going to go ahead and create a view and we're going to give our summer intern again permissions to do select statements. Now since the view only consists of the selected tables that they have access to, we can do a select star on the view and everything is returned as you would expect. That concludes this video.